Oh. Where am I now? Airy here. Quite a wild entrance, huh, Commander? Did you see me? Yep. Me and Morden's thugs. So they've made me, have they? I guess I better get out of here. Nah, don't be so hasty. There's no rush. Morden's forces aren't free to move around either. So where the hell am I? As you can see, we're in some underground ruins. Come to think of it, I remember seeing this place in my school books. I was quite the little student, you know. Yeah, these ruins have certainly appeared in history books, but this doesn't appear much in human history. Hey, are you saying little green men from Mars built this? That would make it a lot easier to figure out. Ready for this, Major? According to carbon dating tests, these mines were built 8 billion years ago. Impossible. Earth was formed 4.6 billion years ago. It's got to be a mistake in the analysis. I know it's an anomaly, but there's no mistake with the carbon dating. Could it be these have something to do with that thing? Is it the basis for Morden's advanced technology? The Alator? No, I don't think these ruins in the Alator are related. Morden's forces don't seem to understand these ruins too well. Oh, brother. This is just a pack of mysteries, isn't it? That's right. All I know is we better stay on our toes here. You said it. We shouldn't waste any more time. Let's get out of here. <laughs> that perverse laugh. I knew you'd turn up, Marco Rossi. Alan O'Neill. Happy to see you again. But I don't have time for a leisurely reunion. It's almost time for a guest to arrive. Let me introduce you. Our army's new weapon. The underground cruise missile. I'm sure I don't have to tell you its target. The SV Project Laboratory? Bingo! You think I'll commit it? Again! You will lay a finger on it! All I have to do is stop that missile. Now you really done it! Peregrine Falcon Scum! Your special forces squad has given me one major migraine, but it ends here! You plan to blow this place up? Yeah, I'll shoot you into the sky, just like a real falcon! You think I'll let you? Blow this place! Oh. What? You! You're not one of us! Who are you? You just realized that? You really are a muscle head! You're... Even an officer like you should have known the faces of your own men, huh? Fire! Blow them away! Oh. <clears throat> Enough talk! So what's it gonna be? How about surrendering? <laughs> Me? Surrender? Just who do you think you're talking to, Toots? No! Get down! I won't forget this. The next time we meet, we'll be the last! That guy's out of control. Man, muscle heads like him sure are hard to stop. Harry, are you alright? Yeah, I'm peachy. This place is gonna collapse! We should get the heck out of here! Yeah, let's move on! Out of the frying pan and into the fire! Oh, jeez! So what do we do now? We lost our objective, Morden! Major! Major Rossi! Marco here. Oh, wish you at last! Since we were cut off all of a sudden, I have been worried. Think about you. I've been underground all this time. I just got back to the surface. Is that so? If you go underground again, tell me first. I told you I was worried sick. I tried to reach you thousands of times. All I got was static. I, I can't get it out of my mind. It was like... Always the fucky little chatterbox, aren't you? What? That voice has got to be... 
Are we? That's right. Why? The major colic? We just met up with each other. I was underground too. Is that so? By the way, listen up, Ari. You two really know how to abuse personnel. Material Division's half staff running around all alone, Major Rocky's got me gathering intel, and since they're developing new prototypes at the lab, the scientists have me walking with dogs. Well, before we take any more action, let's go over the intel we've got so far. Good idea. And stay in sequence, will you? It looks like it all started when Morton got his hands on the Alator. So what is this Alator, anyway? I guess you could call it the unrivaled jewel of scientific achievement. So if he's got the Alator technology, he can make weapons far more advanced than anything we've got. Yep, and he acquired it ten years ago while he was still a general with a government army. It seems that the discovery of this Alator reignited Morton's ambitions. That he wasn't able to use the power of the Alator to its full potential. And as a result of that, we've been able to suppress Morton's coup d'etat. Yep, but at the same time, Morton found a new backer. The founder of Surme Ogma Enterprises and present CEO, Mr. Ogma. He not only provided Morton with military funds, but their technology succeeded in analyzing the Alator. And Morton, obtaining this mighty military power, was able to wipe out the army. Let's get going, Ari. We don't have time to stand around here. Hold on. What are you saying we should do? Do you plan to walk from here? Uh, look over there. What? What's that shaking? Th that's the... The slot flyer! What's it doing here? We Paragon Falcons are always prepared. We've got points like this all over the world. Wow, that is nice! There's another one hidden over there. We'll use these to attack Morton's stronghold. Now? Are you mad? We should pull back and regroup! If we regroup our firepower, that'll give Morton the same opportunity. And what sort of strength will the army have if we try to regroup anyway? The more time we take, the less of an advantage we'll have. But it's just the two of us. Attacking the enemy base with no battle plan, that's just plain suicide. What are you talking about? Skill, experience, and luck are all on our side. Oh, jeez. Give me a break. You're just insane. I know it's a crazy plan. I can't make you come with me, so I guess I'll go it alone from here on in. Are you expecting me to run away while you march into the Maw of Death? That's a dumber plan than the other one. Alright, you can add my skill, experience, and luck to your battle plan. Thanks, you're the best. I knew I could count on you. Some awesome weapon. So now you understand. Now you know just how strong Morton's forces are. Yep, I know it all too well. So what do you say we pull back and rethink our strategy? No way. What I understand is that we've got to defeat Morton fast. He's an opponent we're able to beat. So I guess you're saying there's no stopping now. Yes, there is. We're stopping Morton and his goons. Now let's move out! 